Most faceless channels never get monetized, so don't go into it blindly. Let's face it, no one wants to dedicate months of their lives to creating videos only to receive this dreaded email. So in this video, I'm going to give you the blueprint used by all these monetized faceless channels that are pulling in crazy amounts of views and revenue. And if you're wondering why you should trust me, I use this same formula as a first-time content creator to monetize this YouTube channel in under three months. Keep in mind that I didn't post in forums, get shoutouts, or use some sneaky techniques to hike up my views. Follow this step-by-step -step process and your new channel will be monetized faster than mine did. The first step is niche selection. Messing up at this stage can mean the difference between this and that. You don't need to break new grounds here or even go with your passion. After all, your passion may not exactly be profitable on YouTube. Instead, you can go with a proven concept that people are already making money from. Go to YouTube and search for trending niches for YouTube automation. Keep in mind that not all of these niches may still be viable, so make sure you check the most recent videos on the topic. Now take out your notebook and write down as many of these niches as you want to, and then proceed with your own research starting with the first niche. Make sure there are still channels in the niche that get a lot of views, and most importantly, make sure there are newer channels in the niche with tens of thousands of views on their videos. This is a huge green flag as it means that YouTube is actively showing their videos to new audiences. One thing you should keep in mind is that views don't always mean the channel you're researching is already making money from their videos. Some huge channels only learn later on that copyrighted content is not monetizable on YouTube. You need to create something original. Taking clips from your favorite anime to tell a story is a good way to get demonetized. YouTube loves original content, so if you must, simply create your own with one of these AI tools. Next step is to create the YouTube channel. Feel free to use the timestamps to skip ahead if you already know how to do this. You'll need a Gmail account for this step, so feel free to create it if you don't already have one. For the name, we can use ChatGPT to generate a few unique ones. Once that's done, we can head over to YouTube and create our new channel. I already have this dummy YouTube channel, so we'll be using that for this demo. The next step is to add a logo and a banner to our new channel. There are two ways we can do this. If you've noticed, a bunch of these faceless channels have these cool talking AI avatars to brand their channels. So you can either brand your channel with this or create a normal logo and banner. To simplify things, I'm going to show you how to do both. Let's first start with the logo. We'll head over to Gravity Right and sign up for a free account. Now let's choose logo design from this dropdown and add the channel name. We also need to include a description, so let's add what the channel is about and create our prompts. As you can see, Gravity Right has generated 10 unique prompts to create various styles of logos for our channel. Feel free to test them out individually to find your preference, but for this demonstration, we'll be choosing the mascot. So let's copy the prompt and head over to Ideogram AI. You can use any image generator of your choice, but I found Ideogram to be great at logo and thumbnail generation. These images look good, and we can choose one for our logo. But this text is unnecessary, so let's get rid of that. We can download the image and drop it in PhotoP. If you don't know what this is, it's a free Photoshop alternative with similar features. We need to get rid of this text, so let's use the Eraser tool to quickly clear that. Now we can get rid of the entire background with the Magic tool and replace it with our own. All that remains is to export our image as a JPEG. Next step is to create our banner. We could use the same image generator to create it, but we're just going to do something simple with a text. So let's go to Photo P and create a new 2560 by 1440 project. The first thing we're going to do here is to import this file. It's just a PNG file that shows the safe area. That is the area that will be displayed on all devices. We're just going to add our logo, our brand name, and maybe a subscribe button. So let's go ahead and import our logo and also move and lock this in place to avoid shifting it by accident. If you want this safe margin file, you can find it in the resource channel on my Discord server. The link will be in the description and on the channel page. Let's get rid of this background and also use the magic tool to remove the background from our logo. We don't need the text here, so we'll clear that with the eraser tool. Now we can resize our logo to fit into this box and add a new text field for our brand name. Feel free to choose your preferred font or color for the name. Our background is transparent, so let's add a rectangle shape, choose our color, and move it to the bottom. We can add something like a subscribe button here, but I won't be going through that to save time. But you can find some cool subscribe buttons on this website. Just make sure you've selected PNG to make things simple. You can also right-click the text, select layer styles, and then add a stroke or any other customization you'd like to add to the text. But to simplify things, I'll just reposition the text, hide the safe area, and export the file as a JPEG. Our logo and banner are ready so we can upload them to our channel. But as I promised earlier, 
I'm going to show you how to brand your channel with an avatar. The first thing you need to do is come up with the look of the character. You need something unique and memorable, so feel free to use your imagination. Once we've decided on the character, background, and other details, we can go to ChatGPT and ask it to create a prompt for generating our image. ChatGPT is great at generating such images, so I recommend using it if you have a GPT Plus subscription. For free users, you can paste the prompt into Ideogram or Leonardo AI to generate the image. However, it can be quite frustrating to create an avatar with those tools, so another tool that you can use is Copilot or Bing Image Creator. It's free and runs on DALI, so you get similar results to GPT Plus subscribers. The only issue is that free users only get images with square aspect ratio. So to fix this, we'll download our image and head over to Adobe Firefly. Next, we can select Generative Expand and upload our image. Now let's choose Widescreen option from the Expand tab in the sidebar. One thing you should know is that Firefly typically adds a watermark at the bottom. So let's make room at the bottom before we begin the process. All of these options look great, so let's select one and download. The last step here is to remove the Firefly logo at the bottom. So let's drop our new image inside Adobe Image Resizer, select YouTube from the drop-down, and then choose our aspect ratio. Now we can drag our image until the logo is no longer visible. Once everything looks good, we can go ahead and hit download. Our image is ready, but we need to animate it. For free users, I recommend HeyGen, but for paid users, DID produces some of the best results in the industry. We'll be testing both tools, but first let's generate our dummy script with ChatGPT. You can use any dummy script, but I'm only doing this to avoid this weird scenario where the avatar's lips are closed when our voice narration is still ongoing. So we'll give this command to ChatGPT and grab this script without any punctuation. Now let's test this out with HeyGen. We'll choose Avatar and upload our photo avatar. Next, we'll select it and choose our video format. In this case, we're creating a landscape style. Our script is a bit too long, so let's shorten it a bit and choose a random voice character. Finally, we can hit submit and wait for our video to be ready. Check out the result. Imagine a world where the sky is always a brilliant shade of blue with clouds that stretch across the horizon like cotton candy and the sun shines down with a warmth that wraps around you like a cozy blanket. This looks great, but we'll need to get rid of this annoying watermark. But first, let's download our video. Free users can only download 720p resolution, which isn't that great, but we'll fix that later. If you encounter this issue where the download button doesn't seem to be working, simply choose Customize, then hit the Play button, and finally download. For paid users, I recommend using DID. Let's head over there and create our video. Next, we need to upload our image and make sure it's selected. We'll leave the emotions and movements at natural and paste our script. I'm using a free account, so I need to reduce the number of words to 10, choose a voice, and then proceed with the video generation. Our video is ready within a few seconds. Both of these tools are pretty cool, so you can choose one depending on your budget and how well they can animate your specific avatar. We need to remove the watermark from the video we generated with HeyGen, so we'll head over to 123 apps and choose this icon. Next, we'll upload our downloaded video and draw a rectangle to cover the entire watermark. As you can see, the tool isn't perfect, but it's done a pretty awesome job removing the watermark. Now we can go ahead and download our video. We also need to increase the resolution of our video, so let's drop it into VMake and wait for it to do its magic. Our high-resolution video is ready within a few minutes. Now it's time to find our first topic. This step is arguably the most important one. You can write the best script and even pay the best editors for your video. So long as nobody cares about the topic, the video's ranking will be your only consolation. Instead, look for topics that perform well in your niche. Subscribe to as many newer channels in your niche as you can find, and look at videos that are doing well for them. You don't need to copy their scripts or videos, but you can create videos on such topics. Another step that can break or make your video is the script. You've probably seen a bunch of videos telling you how you can use ChatGPT for your script. Well, don't do that. ChatGPT is totally bad for writing scripts. Just ask it to generate a script on any topic and you'll get a boring introduction like this one. After all, no one wants to spend precious seconds of their lives listening to some random dude introduce himself when similar topics are staring them directly in the face. Once we have our script, we can move on to the voiceover. I'm sure you've heard this popular and totally debunked debate about AI voices not being monetizable on YouTube. Fortunately, it's 2024 and AI voices no longer sound yeah, like this. Some of the AI voices you hear on social media are almost indistinguishable from real voices. 
There are tons of text-to-speech AI tools out there, so feel free to choose one. My favorite is Eleven Labs. They have thousands of realistic voices and a generous free plan. And if you want an easy hack, you can check out my cheat sheet containing some of my favorite voices from their library. Now let's move on to editing. You don't need to be an expert in video editing to run a faceless channel. CapCut is my preferred video editor. It's easy to use and has a very short learning curve. If you already have the funds, you can go ahead and hire a good editor. But that could be expensive, so I suggest using your channel as a learning experience. Watch other videos and learn from their editing styles. Keep in mind that all of these things mean nothing if people don't click on your thumbnail. So you need to find patterns in your niche and get inspiration from successful videos. If you find any challenges, feel free to ask other creators on my Discord server. I've also put together this resource of AI tools that will help make the journey easier.